Oh my god, the entire kitchen is burnt down. Literally the entire kitchen has burnt down. I just bought this. I This is brand new. Hello my friends and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Now I actually have some kind of sad news to share because this is the last episode of this series that I'm ever gonna film from this room. I'm moving next week and you can kind of already tell that like half my background is gone and packed up. It is kind of a funny coincidence though because we're also moving in the game. Like my Sims just got a new house too. I didn't plan this or anything. It just Sort of worked out that blue was aging up at the same time as I was trying to move houses in real life. But speaking of new houses, we've got one. I just built us this new sort of mansion-y house for the Bell family and I'll link the speed build down below if you want to go back and watch the whole thing. But our friend blue now has their own giant house and the rest of the family is sort of forced to move upstairs into some kind of small bedroom so for that I apologize. But to give you a quick tour you'll see that I even put like a fake driveway and garage and stuff. This house has a lot going on. Ignore how the plants look by the way because this this season is like really not doing this house justice, but over here we have our little murder corner. I've got my death pond and my cow plants and stuff. Here's the driveway with our fake garage. I tried to make this garage into almost like a workshop for blue so that we could use the flower arranging table, but I also put some other like random skill building things like a treadmill and like the decor box and also the easel and stuff. In the main living space, it's kind of all one room. We've got like a living room over here and I tried to put like all of our little things and photos back everywhere. So we've got like our little trinkets and the shelves, but here's the main living space and then over here we have like a kitchen dining area sort of combined. Again, all of our classics have returned. For example, the fire ants are back and in the kitchen. I put a lot of gallery walls of family photos up too, so it's kind of fun to have some like old pictures of all of the past generations. We even have like a pet wall of a lot of the more recent pets that we've had. And then back here is Blue's bedroom and their ensuite bathroom. I put the fire toilet right here. This is the one that spontaneously combusts and um, killed my sim once, so that's back. <laughs> Upstairs, we've got a big hallway. It's got like a cat tree and a desk and things, also a bathroom. And then we have Pepper's bedroom, which is looking kind of empty. I'd like to add some more furniture to it, but I was worried about spending too much money because our bills are gonna be really expensive. So I, I sort of held off. And then we've got Bo's bedroom. I feel a bit bad because he definitely downsized. Like his room was a lot bigger before, but he's gonna move out soon probably. So he, he can have this for now. And then our ghost grandparents who are no longer ghosts because I brought them back to life. This is their room. We even have like a ghost wall kind of as an ode to, you know, the incident. And they've got an ensuite bathroom. And then in the back, this is where the good stuff starts happening. In the back, we've got a huge patio. So we've got like a dining table. We've got these lounge chairs. We've got this big outdoor kitchen. We even have like a fireplace with a lounging area. We've got some yoga mats for Blue, who I thought might take up yoga. That was more of a thing when I was worried that Blue was gonna be afraid of plants, but it seems like we've sort of resolved that. So <laughs> we do have that yoga mat still. And then over here is gonna be Blue's garden space to start working on the flower arranging skill. I did bring our chickens. We only have one left, but Betty is here, don't worry. But that, my friends, is the entire house and I'm really excited to have the new space. Now that we're back in here, we do need to do a few things, like for example, fill up the food bowls and stuff just so we don't forget because I'm not trying to have the cat leave me. Oh my God, speaking of, where's the litter box? Oh, okay, it's here. All right, I didn't forget the litter box. Don't worry, we have that. Also, do we have any food left in the fridge or is that all gone? No, we don't. It's literally just ingredients. Okay. And ingredients and a single garden salad that's about to spoil. Okay, I'm gonna make some food. I just would like to have some sort of food items in the fridge just in case. Oh, that is annoying. Are you gonna always cook on that back counter? Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> I think it's because of Chef Juno. So let me move him. Maybe they can use this counter then because that that will bug me, I think. Why, where are you going? Stop, please, at least finish something. And that is not your bed. I'm really sorry to tell you this. I know that your room is worse than it was before, but um, this is your room now, Bo. So sorry, so sorry. Okay, well, as far as my plans for this episode go, I think that I wanna really make sure we work on sort of setting up Blue's life. Things like figuring out who Blue is going to date, you know, maybe setting Blue up with a job, starting to work on things like that, because we got this giant house and we don't really have a way to pay for it right now, so that is certainly a major concern of mine. Luckily, Anna's gonna be around for a while, so we can kind of rely on her and her writing to help get us by, but <laughs> we, we need to start making our own money. 786. See, Pepper, that's not enough money. Like, we're gonna need more cash than that on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, it's New Year's Eve. We could go on like a little New Year's Eve date or something. Oh my gosh, we should definitely go out tonight. We can kind of pretend it's like, wait, now what's this? Now what's going on in here? Okay, that's obviously not supposed to be there. Let me just remove that one. Okay, we got a little bit more money now. That's good. Anyway, we can pretend it's like Blue's 21st birthday or something and kind of celebrate a little. 
Oh, although it's prom. No, it's not prom. Are you going to prom or not? Do you get prom? I don't think he gets prom. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. That stinks. Okay, well, tomorrow is Blue's graduation, so we do have that to look forward to as well. No, no. Where? What did you start if I- Already? With the grill? The brand new grill. Is anybody gonna put it out? Oh my god, put it- actually put it out. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! Hello? Oh, okay. So, the grill. <laughs> We're gonna need to be careful. There's a lot of fire hazards in this house. Oh my god. We need to put like a fire counter on the screen or something. Like this is a daily, daily problem. Oh no, not the mail. Is that? Surely it's not bills. P please be like birthday gifts and not bills. Cause I can't, I can't do that yet. Oh, I think it actually is just gifts. Okay, these are kids gifts. How is that? Oh, I almost sold the ambrosia. Oh my God, don't sell that. You need that, don't sell that. Also, you've got a book to publish. So do that too, cause we also need that money. Is that another fire? No, where? Here? Are you kidding? Like you, mu like, you must be kidding. Are you not gonna put it out? You're just gonna stand there? You're not even like worried? You're just letting it happen? Really? Nothing? Okay, well it's spreading. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my God. Even Bo is just standing there. Why are you all just standing there? Oh, did you get eaten by the cow plant again already? I didn't even see that. Can you put the fire out? You've burnt down the entire kitchen. Oh my God. The entire kitchen is burnt down. Literally the entire kitchen has burnt down. I just bought this. I This is brand new. Oh my God. I think it's because they're all afraid of fire. So they're like more likely to start fires. But really? Like I had you making toast. You, you lit the entire kitchen on fire because you couldn't make toast. Okay. How about you clean that floor really fast? Maybe we'll just ignore the- we don't need to cook anything. Let's- let's just go like shape this. Maybe we'll sign up for our job. You know, let- oh, it's almost Blake's time. Not this too! <laughs> Please! Oh my god. <laughs> Make the most of these final days. How many days? Not a lot of days and they're afraid of swimming too. I know you can't dislike video games. Not on a day like that. Did you like totally mess that up? How did you manage? This looks terrible. Did you cut every leaf off of that tree? Was that on purpose? Everybody starts somewhere. And now the cat is sick as well. There's hairballs everywhere. Does anyone have the treats? Give vet treat. Here's a wellness treat. Let's try this. You know what? Maybe the cat being sick is good because we can sell their hairballs for money. The Sims is really something else, isn't it? <laughs> the fact that like, I, I just said that and it was like a reasonable sentence. Okay, I have a bunch of extra flowers. This is pretty good actually. Let me see if I can go through and clear out some of this stuff that we don't need, but I can give some of these flowers to Blue because they're gonna need to be the ones doing the planting anyway. Oh, these orchids sell for a lot. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better. And then maybe you could join your little career. I want it to be in the gardening career because you can work from home a lot with this one. Okay, I had a plant here and now it doesn't look like- so why- are these- are these glitched? Like, is it just because they're out of season? Okay, and you also apparently can't plant orchids there. It doesn't let you. <sighs> I really wanted these vertical planners to work for me, but I don't think they will. I'm sorry, play The Sims 4 for five hours. Well then, what? what's all this? What do you mean five hours? The achievements are like so bugged in this game, it's so weird. Oh, really quick, I should probably make a resolution. Honestly, my resolution is to get a significant other. I'm lonely. <laughs> My sim. My sim is lonely. No, no, you can do some yoga. Honestly, doing a little a, a little yoga routine might help you. You need to be calm. I know it's been a very stressful day. Like the move is probably stressful. There's been multiple fires. Like the, the whole kitchen burned down. <laughs> you bought a new house this morning and then the whole kitchen burned down. Like that must have been a really rough day, but you know, just breathe, center yourself. You feeling better? Oh, your brother got eaten by a cow plant again. That was rough too. Yeah, yeah. Travel to prom with Bo. I knew it. I knew that we had prom. Okay, I'll go. It seems our New Year's Eve plans have sort of failed us, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some. Blue, one of these days we'll find someone and today is not that day. <laughs> I really want to go to prom though. I want to do like the fun stuff. Why are you wearing that? That's not- no, no, that's not good enough. You put on like, I gave you a nice outfit for this. Change, change. There we go. Okay, see, that's what I meant. You look nice. Is Jacqueline here? I don't think she is. Okay, well, do you want to come to prom, Jacqueline? I could have invited her in the first place, but I didn't, so. Oh, Jacqueline is coming. Okay, good. Oh, meanwhile, he's all upset because he got eaten by a cow plant. This, is, this has been a rough day. It really has. Well, Jacqueline's here. Oh my God, and she looks so cute. Stop, we can try and flirt with her at prom. Honestly, 
actually a, like a school dance on New Year's Eve. I probably would hate that. That would be horrible and I wouldn't want to go. But it's kind of cute. Like in The Sims, it's fun that there's like a school event happening like for a holiday, you know? That isn't why it's happening, but it, it is fun. <laughs> and Jacqueline is feeling flirty. This is perfect. Okay, should I try and like give romantic gift? You know, do you want my extra cow plant berry? Would that go over bad? I'm not sure. <gasps> that Sim is irresistible. He's got a major crush on Jacqueline. Oh, this is perfect. And she liked it. Oh my God. Okay, pick up line. No, no, don't leave me. Don't, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, blow a kiss. Oh, he's stinking up the room. Oh no, <laughs> he smells. I'm trying to date this girl. She thinks I'm awkward because I stink. Oh my God, that is such bad timing. Okay, maybe I'll come vote. I can't vote. It seems that it's happening. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, it's a very awkward encounter. Andrea Bell won prom royalty? Oh my God, my cousin is prom queen. Oh, that's fun. You look great. I, you know, at least one Bell family member is winning. <laughs> At least one of us is, is doing all right in life. Did you see the face they just made at him? Cause he stinks, they were like, ew. Oh, buddy, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Should you try and kiss her? Oh my, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I hope she says no. <gasps> wait, wait, she liked it. She, oh my God, uh, she, okay, she likes me. It's still really awkward, <laughs> but, but she likes me. Oh, this is cute. I really, really like these two together actually. I'm excited about this. And now prom's almost over. I might just let him leave as soon as it like, I won't go to an after party or anything. Oh, he wants me to... I probably shouldn't... No, I'll go. I'll go. I can't bring... Okay, maybe I'll bring Andrea, my cousin. <laughs> if I bring Andrea, maybe people will think that I'm cool too. Because I'm like hanging out with the prom queen, you know? Although I don't think they will. In fact, these after parties are always boring. So maybe I shouldn't even be here. I probably should make a resolution though, just so that we can get like a nice New Year's Eve. And then I might just go home. I'd honestly rather hang out with my family on New Year's Eve than like be there. Because nothing happens at that. The same goes for real life. I would much rather hang out at home than be anywhere for New Year's Eve. That is not for me. I usually stream on New Year's Eve, like on my Twitter channel. This year I played Animal Crossing and like watched the Animal Crossing countdown. Okay, you need to go take a shower urgently. You smell so bad. Blue's just playing chess by themselves in the front yard. Okay, we need to think for a second. What we need to do is we need to make a nice group of single young adults and we need to figure out who Blue is gonna date because I'm lonely. Half this save is related to us. Like cousin, cousin. This one's immortal. I don't want to get involved with that. Lilith is a vampire. That's not the move. Oh my god, this guy's name is Rusty. <gasps> Rusty Bell? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on, can I like invite this guy here right now? This, I know this is bad. No, not a fire again. Where? Where? On the grill? Are you serious? Pepper, you're supposed to be like a pro chef. <laughs> This is the third one today. Stop. You're gonna waste all my money doing this. Be careful. Is Rusty coming? I don't think he will. No, I don't think he will. The guy probably got distracted by the fact that there was a fire and thought, I don't think I want to be there. No, now Rusty's sleeping and I can't. <sighs> I want to see what his traits are so bad. I love the idea of dating a guy named Rusty. Like the sim being named Rusty is, is so good. Rusty Bell. I seriously, I don't really care what his traits are. I think he's the one. We mi we also missed the New Year's Eve countdown. We missed the ball drop because there was a fire in the backyard. So that's great. <sighs> okay, let's just go to bed. Everybody go to bed. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow actually will be better because tomorrow is, is our high school graduation. Why aren't you sleeping? Why aren't you sleeping? Did you get eaten again? He got eaten again. Stop doing that. I thought you were afraid of the cow plant. What is wrong? You. This, in my defense, I, the cow plant is all the way over there. I don't see it. I don't know what they do. I don't watch them. Like, how am I supposed to know that they're going over there and getting eaten? That's not my fault. Go to bed. Go to sleep and avoid the cow plant. I might have to put the cow plants closer to the front. I feel like if I put the cow plants up here, maybe it would be easier for me to, to know, like, when people are gonna eat them. Well, one of them's dead, so we don't need to worry about that one, but <laughs> maybe if I kept it by the front door, I could keep an eye on it better. Maybe I'll serve up some fruit salad, because no one can start a fire with that. <laughs> At least I hope not. That would that would be impressive. Although considering this sim has max of both cooking skills, I'm extremely impressed that she started a fire in the first place. I'm pretty sure she was trying to grill fruit. Like you lit pineapple on fire. Okay, well now that we're up, I'm gonna make Blue just get ready, take a nice bath, relax. Today is a big day for you and me because it's my first time ever seeing the graduation ceremony in this game. No, I'm not going to work. It's my graduation day. I refuse. I'm gonna take 
like a nice relaxing bath. Is your hygiene- I swear it just went down for a second. That was very confusing. Okay, we'll eat some fruit salad, no fires. They need to read a gardening skill book. So maybe I'll buy like- oh, I already have a gardening volume one somewhere. I don't care. Is it just in there? Because if I just bought an extra one, I'm gonna be mad at myself. That's gardening volume two. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I do have two of them. Okay, well, read gardening volume one. Betty is thinking of leaving soon due to inadequate care? Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Scatter feed nearby. Collect eggs. Um, uh, hug Betty. Oh my god. Betty's gonna die and leave at the same time. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that we don't actually have the graduation ceremony until tonight. It's at six. So maybe in the meantime, should we see if we can like hang out with Rusty? I'm sending him an energized text. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and go somewhere with him. I just need to see the guy. I need to see what his traits are. Because right now, I'm I'm really convinced that I'm in love with him and, and that I want to marry Rusty. But I understand that that is silly of me and I'm maybe moving too fast. Because Blue has not even met Rusty in real life. Like, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Hey, Rusty Bell, it's perfect. It's perfect. Here he is. I think he's the one. I'm going into cast to see what his traits are because knowing our luck, they're gonna be terrible. Okay, so he lives with a mermaid. He's got a daughter. What is your family tree? Who are these people? He's romantic, active, and loves art. He seems cute. I like his face. I think I want to go into his household and like look at his family tree a little bit more because like who who is that mermaid? Of what relation to you is that mermaid? Oh my god, it sent me to the wrong place. Okay. <laughs> Let me go back to blue. Oh, he's gonna age up into an adult tomorrow though. That's bad because we're playing on short lifespan. Like he'll be dead soon. I know that's a bit dramatic, but it, that's how it feels. So well, you know, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> we can still date him. If he dies, he dies. I'd like to have a kid at least first, but like, you know, whatever. Ooh, they have a nice house. Oh, look. He's descended from like the main Henford on Bagley Sims. Rami and Thomas were his great grandparents. And he's got a kid, but he's single. This, this could work out really well for us. Oh my God. He just kissed Blue's hands. Oh my God. They've got a romance bar already. Okay, I need to switch back to the regular household. I don't know who that mermaid is still, but that's fine. We can say it's his sibling. We can have our kids have a mermaid uncle. It'll be great. I am so impulsive with my Sims. Like I just, I saw this guy's name and I was like, yep, he's the one. He's the one. No questions asked. Asked, that's the guy. He could have had like the worst traits. I wouldn't have cared. I was still ready. I'd still date him. Is he leaving? Don't leave. I think he left. No, I was gonna flirt with you. Declare love publicly. Oh my god, that's a terrible idea. Oh my god, he's holding it. Oh my god, why did I click that? Oh no. Okay, blue. Blue, we're out. We're leaving. Nope, nope. <laughs> we can revisit that later. We're going home. We're not doing that again. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have a nice relaxing day at home. There's gonna be no declarations of love publicly. That was a mistake. I'm sorry, but we're new to this. You know, we haven't dated before. Blue, you're gonna, you'll be okay. It's fine. Okay, but like actually though, I want to start working a little bit on our flower arrangements. We don't actually have any flowers, but I can like pay for some. And we can see about trying to build this skill a little bit. We're almost level two. That's not so bad. Oh, you feel flirty? Oh my gosh. No, my game's frozen. No, 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 no. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Maybe we could add like a super cute fired ceramic vase. What does that look like? No, no, go do it. Can I put this in the house? That looks really nice. Like put it by the window. Quality pour. Great. That's, that's great. <laughs> oh my God, the cow plant needs fed. Go feed it before anybody eats it. Go, go, go fast. No, no, this is, this is urgent. I'm serious. <laughs> you need to do this right now. Oh wait, do you think I should try and add Rusty on Social Bunny? Because then I can like try and flirt with him. We can try and post some more reviews. I sort of forgot about social bunny to be honest, <laughs> but we can try and send him some like flirty messages and maybe get our relationship up a little bit higher just without, you know, embarrassing ourselves in person. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to a charity? We have enough money. I'm, I will, I will. Then you can gain some fame and stuff too. That might be nice. Oh, this one looks pretty. I'm so excited for Blue to get good at this because then we can have like beautiful flowers all around the house all the time. It'll be nice. Did you? No, you did not. Oh no, okay. He didn't get eaten again. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I saw this and I was like, surely it didn't happen a third time. It didn't. Do you want to like take a bath or something? Would that make you feel better? Maybe you could also have a nice relaxing bath. It's been a rough day. Is the cat tormenting the chicken? Please don't do that. Everything does not seem to be going Blue's way at all lately. Oh no. It has just been bad news after bad news. People keep saying you never know until you try, but never talk about how it feels after trying something new and it not working out. Blue can't take another disappointment. It's terrifying and too painful to try again. What? You got a fear of failure? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, Blue, you've had a rough few days. Did the flower thing turn out that bad? This looks great. I know it says poor quality, but it looks beautiful. Here, I can sell it. I'll get it out of your sight. But I thought you did a good job. Oh, I mean, the poor Sim. Like, first they tried to flirt. They did a bad job. They tried to make pancakes. They burnt the entire kitchen down. <laughs> oh my god, but wait, look, Blake is playing football with Bo. Oh, that's- we finally have space. This is cute. You're actually doing a pretty good job, too. Meanwhile, Pepper is taking advantage of the lovely new pool space. <laughs> I'm really happy with the new house. I, I've just had the most fun with this space. Like I mentioned earlier, I actually made two videos building this house. If you want to go back and watch them, I can link them both down below for you. And you know what? We've got graduation in like an hour, but is it wrong of me to leave? Wait, do you have a festering grudge? Is it because he hit you in the face? You did not. No, surely you did not. Oh my god, you did! And then you stopped playing! <laughs> You've got a festering grudge against your grandson because he hit you in the face with a football? Okay. Okay, well, I was gonna say that it's probably wrong of me to leave this on a cliffhanger. Oh, Tommy's over here. Do you want to say hi to your mom? But I think I might wait until next episode for the graduation. Part of it is that I still have not seen the graduation ceremony. I have yet to see it work. And frankly, if it doesn't work right now, I can't handle that kind of disappointment. I would like for this video to be fun. <laughs> I would like for this video to be positive, being the last one that I'm filming in this house. I, I don't want to deal with a, a sad graduation failure. So I think I might just close my game and save that for next episode. To me, this is the most important thing that has happened in this entire series to date. And I know that sounds silly, but like this is a big day. It's my first Sims graduation ceremony. So with that, I think I'm gonna end this part right here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I'll link those past speed builds and the playlist for this series down below if you want to go catch up. We're getting kind of close to episode 100 at this point, so we should maybe start plotting some ideas. It's got to be big for 100 episodes. We got to do something special, right? Maybe Maybe leave me some ideas in the comments. Also, what are your thoughts on Rusty? Are we into it? Because I think I'm obsessed with him. Let me know in the comments too. And with that, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay? Bye everybody. How many times have I decided who my sim is gonna date purely based on their name? I just see one guy one time and I'm like, yep, he's the one. No questions asked. That, that'll do it.